Hi, I'm Steve. Um, opus cementitium, Latin means cement. Duh. Um, it seems that the Romans were really big into cement. Uh, the structures they made out of it are perhaps the longest lasting buildings of any kind that weren't carved out of like solid stone or something. I mean, you, you see older buildings made out of big stone blocks, but in terms of things that are constructed other ways, the Roman buildings have lasted the longest. And the reason is they were really, really good at making cement. You wouldn't think so. I mean, yeah, cement, how hard could it be? Well, a study into uh, Roman cement dates back to the 1780s when people realized there was something special about it. But a serious investigation to how it does what it does was not carried out until 2010. And in fact, the findings for that were only really discovered two years ago. So our knowledge of Roman cement is super recent. And the stuff is amazing. Um, for one thing, modern cement, when you lay it, it outgasses carbon dioxide, which is not good for the environment. Roman cement doesn't do that. It's made largely with um, additions of stuff. So they would do tricks like, instead of using ordinary water, they'd use salt water, sea water, to make their cement, and that made a big difference. They'd also deliberately not mix it very well, which sounds like a terrible idea. But interestingly, when Roman cement cracks and water seeps into the crack, what happens is the little bits of undried cement then dry and fill the cracks in. So Roman cement is self-repairing, which is kind of incredible. And the stuff they poured underwater remained very slightly flexible, which meant it could survive being pounded by waves and tides, which modern cement doesn't do well at. Modern cement, even the best we have, deteriorates in 30, 40 years, whereas Roman cement, still there 2,000 years later, looking good. They also did some clever tricks in the Pantheon building. They started off with a really dense, heavy cement, uh, which weighed 2.2 tonnes per cubic metre. As they went up the building, they introduced more and more lightweight volcanic ash and other such ingredients until at the very top of the building, instead of 2.2 tonnes per cubic metre, it was only 1.3 tonnes. So, you know, 60% or so of the weight at the bottom, which means that they've got the strongest stuff at the bottom and the weaker stuff at the top, which is lighter weight, so it doesn't push down quite so hard. They were really, really clever about this stuff. And like I say, we've only really understood it two years ago. Anyway, isn't that fun?